If you saw a video I put out a few weeks ago, we went back in time to look at some of the best players at their positions and who they were compared to at the time they were drafted. The theme of the video was they all proved to be much better than the players they were compared to. For today's video, we're going to be following a similar concept once again, going back in time to look at draft day comparisons, except this time, we're going to be looking at prospects who were compared to some pretty great players, but then failed to become anywhere near as good. Before we start though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. First we go back in time to the 2014 NFL Draft and take a look at Jadavian Clowney. Clowney played three years at South Carolina and was named South Carolina's Mr. Football in his senior year of high school back in 2010. He quickly translated his high school success to eight sacks and five forced fumbles in the loaded SEC his true freshman year. In his sophomore year at South Carolina, he set the single season school record with 13 sacks and is remembered for one of the biggest hits in the 2010s that he placed on Michigan running back Vincent Smith in the Outback Bowl to cap his season. Leading into his junior season, he had serious Heisman hype but played in only 11 games and recorded just 3 sacks as he was plagued by minor injuries throughout the year. He turned pro in 2014 and was referred to as the Andrew Luck of the defensive end position to signify how rare of a prospect he was. Clowney was described by NFL media analyst Bucky Brooks as a meaner, nastier Julius Peppers. That's a lofty comparison for any prospect, as Julius Peppers was a 9-time Pro Bowler, a 3-time First Team All-Pro, and named to the All-2000s Decade Team. He finished his career with 159 and a half sacks, and will be a first ballot Hall of Famer when his time comes. Through 6 years of his career, Clowney has just 32 sacks compared to Peppers' 56 through 6 years, and just 8 forced fumbles compared to Julius's 20. Though Clowney is by no means a bust, it was nearly impossible for him to live up to those pre-draft expectations. Next up on this list is Sam Darnold, who when he came out in the 2018 draft, was compared to Andrew Luck. While Darnold hasn't had the best hand dealt to him, he at least through two years is not Andrew Luck. Through two seasons of starting 13 games in each year, Darnold is 11 and 15 compared to Luck's 22 and 10 through his first two years. While Darnold is on a worse team, he has 10 less touchdowns and one more interception than Luck did through two seasons in six less games. Darnold has shown flashes of greatness in his first two years, and there's no denying that, but it's almost not fair to him or any other young quarterback to be compared to an MVP level player. The good news for Jets fans, if he does indeed go on the trend Luck did in his career, Luck led the league in passing touchdowns in his third year, and while I don't want to say Sam can do that, he did make strides from year one to year two, as they won three more games with him, his completion percentage improved a considerable amount, and he threw more touchdowns and less interceptions than his rookie season. By no means is Darnold a bad player, he's just at this point in his career, not Andrew Luck. Next up is Laquan Treadwell, who to put it kindly through four years, has been a complete draft bust. He was compared to, and this makes sense from a size standpoint, as Treadwell is 6 foot 2, 220 pounds, and DeAndre Hopkins, yes he was compared to DeAndre Hopkins, was measured at 6'1", 215 at his combine. Treadwell was expected to step in and be the Vikings' next big receiver alongside a rookie phenom from 2015 and Stefan Diggs, but along came an undrafted hometown hero you might have heard about in the past few years that took Treadwell's spot. His name's Adam Thielen, and Thielen became a huge reason Treadwell just never played and never amounted to anything in the offense, and Laquan amassed just one catch in his rookie season, and through four years he has totaled 65 catches and two receiving touchdowns. In terms of being compared to a superstar, Laquan is up there in terms of being the furthest away possible from living up to those lofty expectations. Next up is Taco Charlson, who the Cowboys selected back in the first round of the 2017 draft, and to say he's been a bust through three years is nothing short of an understatement. He started just seven games in two seasons in Dallas and played in 27 games before the Cowboys cut their ties with him. He was compared to Chandler Jones, who is among the most underrated players in this generation, as Chandler has at least 11 sacks in every year since 2015 and recorded 19 this past season alone. Taco in his first 27 games as a Cowboy recorded just 4 sacks before signing with the Dolphins this year, where he recorded a career-high 5 sacks. Chandler Jones having 19 sacks compared to Taco's career 9 is just one reason to show how bad of a comparison this looks 3 years later. The final player for today's video is Mitch Trubisky. 
Mitch was drafted by the Bears second overall back in the 2017 draft, and while Mitch hasn't played the best, and that's putting it kindly, the pick looks a lot worse given Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson were taken after him. Through three years, Mitch hasn't lived up to expectations, and aside from an alternate Pro Bowl appearance in 2018, he's been below average. Taking a game against the Bucks away in which Mitch threw for 6 touchdowns, and he has a career touchdown to interception ratio of just 42 to 29. His pro comparison was Matthew Stafford, and while Stafford's team haven't been perennial playoff contenders, Matt himself has proven to be a franchise quarterback, as he has 8 4,000 yard seasons, and at only 31 years old, if he can stay healthy, he could finish in the top 6 or 7 all time in a bunch of passing categories. If Matt had the defense Trubisky had for the past few years and ultimately through his whole career, the Lions would definitely be competing for Super Bowls year in and year out. Anyway, that's all I have for today's video. I hope to see you around for the next one. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and have a great day. Skull Bikes.